is HL7 Starter Kit .com. Um, I had just finished recording a video called Download Mirth Fire Connector, Three Easy Steps. Um, I'll leave the link below. Feel free to go ahead and download um, the fire connector for Mirth. This video will be actually taking that download, the fire Mirth connector download, and installing it into Mirth. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Wasn't it took me a minute to figure out, but it wasn't that complicated. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch Mirth. Go ahead and launch it, however it is that you do. I like to go ahead and um, do it to the website. Give me a second here. There we go. So first, you download the Mirth connector, and then now we're going to install it directly into Mirth. What I found out is that um, that Mirth connector is an, actually an extension. So you want to install it into Mirth um, as an extension. And it's supposedly that should be it. So we're going to go ahead and do this live <laughs> and see how it goes. Now, I have the zip file. The other video, um, we downloaded the zip file. So here we go. As you can see, I'm going to sort this. I clicked on extensions and I'm sorting the extensions by name and you can see there is no fire. So let's go ahead and here at the bottom it says install extension from file system. I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to go to my download and find the zip file. There it is. The fire zip file that I just downloaded. I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to go ahead and click install and Awesome, it looks like it worked. Now what it says here, the Mirth Connect server and administrator must be restarted before you change or take effect. So if you want to go ahead and restart, restart your Mirth server. Honestly, sometimes it's just easier to restart the whole machine. Um, so I'm going to stop this video, do a restart, and I'll be right back. I am back and I just restarted Mirth and my server and I'm going to go back in to see the Mirth Fire Connector installed. So let's go ahead and launch Mirth. We shall see the fire extension in the installation. One second. Here we go. We're just about to jump into Mirth Connect. And if you need to see that video of downloading Mirth Fire Connector, um, should be a link below. I am getting these errors here. Um, I'm going to ignore them for now. Take care of them after. I just want to make sure that I can see the extension actually inside of Mirth. Click extensions, sort by name, and there we are. There is a Mirth Fire listener. Um, under the extensions, again, you click extensions and you get the screen. Um, pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure what those errors are. I'll look at, look them up next. If you know what how to fix them or what they are, please leave a comment below and let me know. Um, that's my next job. But I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching.